Hey guys, um, today I am talking about calorie counting, which is kind of a controversial topic, and um, especially like in the health and fitness and nutrition world, I feel like it's kind of controversial. It's controversial for me too, and so I've been like refining my thoughts on calorie counting, so I thought that I would share with you. So my name's Alyssa Cohen. I'm a functional diagnostic health coach and hormone expert, so I help women who struggle with period problems, really, um, whether it's missing period, heavy periods, things like PCOS, um, and everything associated with that. So energy issues, acne, things like that. So I help them get to the root cause of those symptoms using health coaching and some functional lab testing. So let me share with you um, my history with calorie counting. I used to be like an obsessive calorie counter. I um, I had a little book that listed all the calories in typical foods and like everything that I ate on a regular basis. I knew how many calories were in it. So either I would be tracking in my head for all day or I would sit down at the beginning of the week or, you know, on Sunday and plan my food for the week and eat the same thing every single day so that I knew I was meeting my um, staying under, you know, usually it was like, um, 1200 calories or 1500 calories. And, um, I would try and stay under that because I was crazy about counting calories. And I mean, really it was, it was super obsessive for me and it was really a disordered eating pattern. And, you know, I followed health magazines or recommendations of staying under your 1200 to 1500 calories a day. And, this obsessive calorie counting and calorie cutting and not eating enough messed up my hormones. That's how I got to the place where I was, where I had no period for two and a half years after I got off of birth control and um, was fatigued all the time. I'd fall asleep when I got in the car and and things like that. So of course I don't want to. I don't want myself to go back there, and I don't want anyone else to be there, and I don't. Um, I don't suggest calorie counting for that sort of reason, but um, now that I've learned to go the other way and just kind of eating when I'm hungry, stopping when I'm full, choosing foods that are really nutrient dense and provide a lot of nutrition and energy for my body, I just kind of eat intuitively, which is really great, but I've realized that when I do that, lately I have been counting my calories and, you know, taking a typical day and recording it and see what that amounts to. And I, I realize that I am under eating when I do that for the most part. Um, I, I think that, um, when we're eating really nutrient dense foods, it's really easy to not eat enough calories when we do that because they provide us all the nutrients that we need and they make us satiated. And so, it's really easy to just go from meal to meal and by the end of the day you've had not enough calories or energy to feed your, um, your athletic endeavors or just your day-to-day activities. And, um, so I lately, recently I, A, calculated how many calories I should be eating on a daily basis, which for me at 5'9", what, I'm probably like 165 pounds now, something like that. I should be eating at least 2,000 calories a day on a day that I just sit on the couch and do absolutely nothing, which never happens. You know, I'm at least walking the dog. I'm active at my job. I, a couple times a week, will do a 20 to 40 minute workout. And so on a day that I do absolutely nothing, I should be having 2,000 calories. Well, when I count the amount of calories that I'm eating, I'm eating like 1,500 calories or maybe 1,800 calories on a day that I really try and eat more. And that is just not enough, especially on the days that I am um, working out. And the problem with this is that I'm under fueling my body still, and um, it can con- really contribute to metabolic damage in the long run. And I think the reason that it's my tendency to undereat is because weight loss has always been something in the back of my head, and it's something that I've struggled with from fifth grade on or or whatever and so I'm always like how many calories should I be having and things like that and I think it is more difficult for me to lose weight because I have under eaten for so long and my body is not super efficient at burning calories because I'm always in this like calorie saving um starvation-ish sort of mode 
And so the answer to the question of count calories or don't count calories for me at this point, and some of my clients, I have them do this too, is is yes, count calories. Now, if you are someone who does struggle with struggle with disordered eating or things like that, I don't know that calorie counting is necessarily for you. I think getting to that point where you can just kind of eat intuitively and choose foods that have really good nourishing nutrients and things like that is a good place to start to get yourself out of that really disordered eating place. But once you can just see food as fuel and nutrition and things like that, it, it might not be a bad idea to check in on how many calories you're eating a day. Um, the first thing to, to make sure that you're doing when it comes to choosing whether or not to count calories or things like that is to make sure that the food that you are eating is really nutrient dense. It's whole food. It's from, from the earth and things like that. So you're getting actual nutrients from your food and they're not packaged processed foods. That's the first step. But after that, you have that under control. Yeah, I think it might be reasonable to check in on the calories that you are eating on a daily basis. So first, you want to know how many calories it is that you need to be eating on a daily basis. So um, using a, you can use some calculations or you can also just use like online calculators. I use one, I think it's XRX exrx.net and I think it's calorie requirements or something like that and you know it's 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 vague you know it goes off your height and weight and your age and then it does take into account your activity levels which I like you can account for higher activity level days and so first know how many calories you should be eating in a day and then take an average day or two and use myfitnesspal.com and just record those meals in and see how many calories you are getting and do you even come close to the amount of calories that you're needing to just um maintain your weight if you're not I think that's important to consider and try and get your calories up to that point where you're meeting your metabolic needs because if we're constantly under eating we're causing damage to our bodies and especially if you struggle with hormone imbalance whether it's irregular periods or no period or heavy periods or uh, trouble with fertility and things like that, getting enough nutrients and therefore calories is going to be super important to making your body feel safe, helping your cortisol levels stay down, and um, giving your body enough nutrients to A, heal itself, and B, carry on all the metabolic and whatever processes it needs to through the day. So... My answer is, does it, it, it depends, you know, if you're, if you're really disordered in your eating and things like that, counting your calories is probably not the best idea, but if you have a good relationship with food and, um, then yeah, I think it is a good idea not to, um, make us eat less food, but for me at least, it's a, it's a good tool to help me and encourage me to eat more food and, and choose to uh, fuel my body appropriately and giving me the knowledge and the, the objective data to know that I'm doing that on a day-to-day -day basis. So I would love to hear from you. Do you count calories? Have you ever counted calories? Um, was it coming from a good place where you were wanting to feed your body? Was it coming from a bad place where you were wanting to restrict food and maybe more of that disordered eating place, um, does it trigger you? When you count your calories, is it triggering and it makes you anxious and, you know, obsessed about it again? Um, I'm, I'm curious because I, I, I want to know how people do with calorie counting because when I ask clients to do it, of course it's not coming from a place of, like, judgment or we should be eating fewer calories or whatever. It's from that place of let's really nourish our body. So I'm curious for you. Does it trigger you? Do you hate it? Does it make you feel bad or does it make you feel good? Is it empowering you like it empowers me? So um, comment below. I would love to hear and we'll catch you next week. Thanks.